are y'all doing today? I'm Isaac Travis and you're watching IT Creations. So today we are out here fixing our boat. We've had a couple problems with this thing and I'm going to show you what's wrong with it and what we're going to fix and how I'm going to end up welding this header. So and how everything just went wrong and how we winterized this thing wrong and to kind of help you out so you guys don't make the same mistakes. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is our boat's engine. When we were winterizing this thing, we didn't take out all the drain plugs, especially in these headers right here. And as you can see, one of our headers just blew out the side right there. The pressure cap right here did not pop out, so it just completely blew out this cast iron. So I'm gonna be welding that up. And these are the plugs you should have took out right there and right there. And unfortunately, we didn't take those out. So I'm gonna be showing you how to weld that here. And what dad is going to be working on is we burned up our starter here. So dad is going to be putting in our new starter. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to weld this cast iron. Now this cast iron is a very dirty metal. So it is going to be pretty hard to weld. It is a very difficult metal to weld and I'm going to be doing it with a Harbor Freight welder. This is one of the cheapest welders you can buy. I got mine for like 90 bucks from Harbor Freight. It's a very good welder to pick up if you just want a cheap welder just do several projects. But like I was saying, this is a very dirty metal so you're going to need to grind your weld like crazy. So I got an angle grinder right there and with cast iron, when it cools down, it cracks. So you want it to cool down very slowly. So I got some play sand right here and a five gallon bucket. So after I'm done welding this thing, I'm going to bury it in that play sand and it's going to hold that heat in and make it cool down slow so it won't, won't crack. And when you're welding cast iron, you want to do very little bits at a time, just little tiny welds going across here. You don't want to weld it all in one weld or it, just bad things will happen. So what I'm going to do with this is as you can see it's cracked right here across the middle and all the way around it. So I'm going to break all that apart and I'm going to weld these two together and you just got to keep this all super clean with cast iron. Okay, I got those two pieces welded together. Now I'm getting ready to go all the way around this thing and get it welded on. And that looks pretty good. I put it in that sand and let it cool off a little bit while I cleaned all this metal up to get ready to weld. And it welded pretty nicely. So let me weld all this up and we'll grind those welds off and maybe go over it one more time and just make sure that there ain't no slag in those welds. Make sure to preheat your cast iron with a blowtorch before welding. Okay, I got it all welded up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in that bucket of sand and wait a couple hours for it to completely cool down. So let me get it in there before it starts to crack. Okay, I've let this thing cool down in this bucket of sand for a couple of hours. So this thing should be cool enough for me to pull it out. So let's see how this thing cooled down.
Okay, this thing cold off perfectly. I ended up getting no cracks or anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this thing off and blow off all the sand, blow all the sand out of it with the air compressor. And then we are going to hook it onto the boat and see if I get any leaks. Okay, we got it all blowed off and blowed out with the air compressor. Now we are putting our gasket on there. And then we are both gonna go in there and hook it up to the boat and give this thing a try. Okay, it is the next day. We let that liquid gasket dry overnight. And yesterday, Dad did a great job and he got that starter put in and he changed all the spark plugs in this thing. So this thing should fire up perfectly. So we got the water hose hooked on the back of the motor back here. Make sure you always have one of those hooked up or you would just burn your motor up. So dad is gonna go turn that on. <clears throat> Gotta wait for it to beat. There we go. Getting there. Okay, let me kill it. Okay, I have found our leak. One of our pressure caps in the bottom of this engine block has popped out. Luckily it did. If this didn't pop out, we could have broke the bottom of our engine block. So just make sure that you winterize your engines properly because a lot of mistakes has happened and you can really mess up your engine really bad. But besides that, my welds held up perfectly. I ended up getting no leaks out of that. So let's get this on here. I ended up having to take the alternator out to get back up in there. So I'm going to go put this in and we're going to start this up and make sure that we have no other leaks that come out once when this gets in there. Okay, I got that plug popped back in. I got the alternator all hooked up. Dad's got the water turned on. We're going to start this thing up and see if we have any leaks. Okay, let's see if we got any leaks. That all looks good. Come back down here to where that plug popped out. That all looks good. All right, we're good. Okay, we got this thing completely fixed. Me and Dad are gonna take this thing out to the lake and rinse off. That is going to be it for this video, so make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can be the first one to know when my videos upload, and make sure that you have a great night.